Hey guys, let's talk about Lucy Rebecca Meadows. Lucy was born on October 1st, 1992 and has been missing since July 25th, 1996 from Goodlettsville, Tennessee. At the time of her disappearance, she was 3 years old, 2 feet 8 and 30 pounds. She's biracial, Asian and Caucasian. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Lucy is of Korean descent and may understand a few Korean words. Lucy was reportedly last seen in the parking lot of the Rivergate Mall in Goodlettsville, Tennessee on July 25th, 1996. Her mother, Yong Meadows, told authorities that she let Lucy exit their vehicle's backseat on the driver's side. Yong then walked to the passenger side of the car to retrieve packages. When she turned around, Lucy had disappeared. The mall security team was alerted to Lucy's disappearance immediately and an extensive search of the parking lot and surrounding area was completed by law enforcement. No evidence related to her case was discovered, although witnesses saw a brown or champagne colored minivan in the parking lot which may be connected to her disappearance. It has never been identified. Lucy has never been heard from again. Lucy resided on a farm in Clarksville, Tennessee with her parents in 1996. Investigators searched the property but there was no indication of her whereabouts. Young's marriage to Lucy's father, Tom Meadows, had been troubled. According to Tom, the source the source of the problems was, was Young's friendship with Young S. Tammy Dai, whom Tom referred to as a, quote, devastating influence, unquote, on the family. After Dai's husband was deployed with the Air Force, she moved into the Meadows' home for what was supposed to be only a few weeks, but wound up staying for months. A few weeks prior to Lucy's disappearance, Tom began eviction proceedings against Ty. He said neighbors had found Lucy wandering around outside alone and crying, and that Young had begun leaving Lucy's 11-year-old brother home alone for extended time periods. Lucy's parents filed for divorce a month after she went missing. The divorce was granted in 1997, and Young was granted custody of both of the couple's children. Tom, who has been active in the search for Lucy, believes Ty may have been involved in her disappearance. Young has reportedly been uncooperative with in the investigation and has given inconsistent statements. She initially said Lucy was out of her sight for only a few seconds, then changed the time to 10 to 15 minutes. In addition, a witness reported that Young said Lucy disappeared from a mall in Clarksville, Tennessee, before saying she disappeared from the Rivergate Mall. Investigators have stated they do not believe Lucy was at either mall on the day she was supposedly abducted. Young has failed two polygraph tests about her daughter's disappearance, and when she was last interviewed, she refused to make a statement at all. In November 2004, a witness came forward and said he had seen Lucy at her parents' home on the night prior to her disappearance, and the child looked, quote, as if she could have been dead, unquote. At least two adults were present, including Lucy's mother, and the witness stated the adults appeared to be panic-stricken, asked for a Bible, and shouted Lucy's name repeatedly. The witness was only 12 years old at the time Lucy, Lucy disappeared and says he didn't come forward sooner because he initially didn't realize the significance of what he saw. He has passed a polygraph test and investigators believe his story. He has not been publicly identified, but investigators stated he is a family member. Young has not provided any comment on the witness's statement and is no longer cooperating with the police in Lucy's case. Authorities attempted to start a grand jury investigating Lucy's disappearance in Montgomery County, the county where she lived, rather than Davidson County, where the Rivergate Mall is, suggesting they think whatever happened to Lucy happened in Montgomery County. Nothing has come of this thus far, however. Lucy's case remains unsolved. If you have any information, please call the Goodlitzville Police Department at 615-859-3405.